Hey, what's up guys? This is Mina again. I'm here trying to clear some misconceptions about the coronavirus. So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about the coronavirus, what it is, what it does, and there's a whole bunch of misinformation out there, and I just want to clear this up. So I'm going to start by walking through a series of very simple, and, but the most frequently asked questions that I get at the pharmacy, and the masks. Relax with the masks, guys. I've been seeing people just coming in, pushing each other around just to buy a bunch of masks and hand sanitizer, which is, I guess, good for me, but honestly, no, it doesn't make any difference. Let's, we'll talk about that when we jump into the questions. So, first question would be, what is the coronavirus? So the coronavirus is uh, a large family of viruses that have been around for quite a while and they can cause a wide range of infections and minor illnesses uh, ranging from the common cold that you get every day all the way up to SARS which we uh, recently encountered in the past couple of years or so and uh, the one that we're currently dealing with in February 2020 is called the novel coronavirus which is basically a fancy way of saying we don't know what it is. It's just the coronavirus that evolved and it has never been, in, never been seen in humans before. Some other word that you might hear in the media is something where they call it the zoonotic virus, which is just a fancy way of saying that this virus uh, can infect animals and actually can infect humans as well, or they can cross over in a way. So plenty of viruses are, are the same way, but not all of them. So this is just what it means when they say zoonotic. A lot of people are also asking about treatments. Uh, unfortunately, uh, at this current scenario and this current uh, information that we have, there's no direct treatment to the coronavirus. We only do symptomatic treatment, which treats like if you're having a dry cough, a fever, sore throat, they will treat those things. However, uh, the good news is they're actually working on a vaccine as far as we, uh, we know at this moment, but nothing has been confirmed yet. So how is the virus spread? It's usually through cough droplets or close contact. Close contact is defined as being within one to two meters of someone, the cough droplets could actually transfer. And the virus would go through any mucous membrane, which is usually like the mouth, the nose, and the eyes, things of that nature. Uh, how do we avoid spreading this virus? So one of the most common uh, ways of doing it, which we all know about, which is wash your hands but we never really take the time to wash our hands properly. You need to wash it for about 20 seconds. There are plenty of videos on how to do that, so please just take the time and Google that. Another important part would be um, avoid touching your face. Just, I know it's hard, but try as best as you can because our hands touch surfaces all day long and if you keep touching your face, viruses are usually spread by getting into the mucous membrane, which is your mouth, your nose, and your eyes. So as much as you can, avoid doing that. Uh, the current global count of people that uh, are infected with coronavirus is about 18,000 as of February 4, 2020. The, the global death roll is about 426 people that unfortunately passed away from this virus. However, to put it in perspective again, which is very important, that's about 2%, like the, the mortality rate we discussed earlier. Uh, just to put it in another sort of uh, perspective, I believe in a uh, paper, in an article posted on the University of Oxford somewhere, I'll post it down below when I find it, uh, the causes of death in 2018 from diarrheal diseases was 1.57 million people. So you, you have a higher chance of dying from diarrhea than coronavirus. So take it easy, relax, stay protected, wash your hands, stay away from folks that might have the virus. You're going to be fine. Stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you in the next video.